Hello everyone, this is Dark and She, and we're here for the third episode of Let's Play The Walking Dead. You have such pretty hair. It gets lots of tangles. Uh, okay. Uh, on the previous episode, we, yeah, barely managed to, yeah, escape again some zombies. And we're in some kind of house right now. Um... I have a feeling I already said this before, but yeah. Um, we met Herschel and his son and three other guys, which we will probably tag along. Um, but yeah, we sh uh, our task is to reinforce a fence. So yeah, we better ask what we should do. Do you uh, think this thing will keep them out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. So, um... What can I do? How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! Yeah. Whatever. Oh. It's just whatever scraps I could find around the property. Yeah, good, but... Oh, maybe I talk to that guy. Hey, Lee. Yeah, I need a hand. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that'd sure speed things up. Sure thing, bro. Oh my god, I got killed. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes. And oh my the god. Trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh, I had to shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger <laughs> threat than... So yeah guys, I actually got a, a new headphone. How about yours? Uh, How's your family? Sennheiser 400, uh, 39. My brother and parents are in uh, HD is oh. really awesome. Oh, man. I hope so, too. Uh, and it's really cheap, yeah, too. too uh, if you're looking for a good headphones with an amazing quality, That's you should buy one. Um, yeah, I'll put a link in the description of uh, which headphone I mean. So you guys can check it out. Um, yeah, now that I did that, what can I do more? Sometimes, yeah. Hmm. Well... There's something, maybe I gotta do something here. Nope. Probably gotta talk to everyone. Um, where are these guys? So, oh yeah, there's a guy here. No, can't talk to him. So, what the hell am I supposed to do? No, seriously. I have no idea. Oh. Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, huh? Yeah, that's right. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Who the hell names his kid Doc? About all of this? Quark. Things. Uh, Things were bad before. Bad now, but 
the different, you see? People are eating each other. But they weren't before. The banks, the politics, the, the crap. Those things are gone. Hell comes in a lot of different colors. Yeah. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our job soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. So, what? You having Get a it. nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I really have no idea what I should do. Do I just have to talk to guys, or... Oh, yeah. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, I'm okay. I think I've got it handled okay. As long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe. Sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. Yeah. I'll keep that in mind. Nigga. Uh, what's, what's your plan? plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale. Come on, I want some action, sort it out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too Where bad, are the zombies? My boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I thought this game was all mackerel, about zombies. Dolphin, whatever's and biting and ain't pain. doing Kachi shit. wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But... We're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See you. Okay. Um... Oh, Herschel's there now. Better talk to that guy. And actually, I'm walking normally again. Never thought I would see that. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride, and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well... You're no worse for wear. This farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> if you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. Do you agree with that? Was brought up to? Yes. Yeah, I sure do. family man. now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? Uh, my parents, my parents are in Macon. I guess. Right. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. But at least you have yeah. the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Oh, God, what the fuck? Go! I'll get my gun! Uh, what the hell happened? Finally, some action. Oh, yeah, I gotta help. 
wasn't strong enough. Sorry. If your girl is ever trapped, you better hope you get stronger. Or your friends aren't cowards. Please. Just go. Get out and never come back. Oh. No, I just found a home. that ride to make it if you want it. Uh, okay. That's pretty awesome. So, where are we going now? Oh, we can make it. Yeah, right. We, go. we were going to make it. Looks pretty well, quiet out of here. As far as we're going, and it's far enough. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's the drugstore of his parents. Look! Hey there, you friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Oh, oh nice. Oh shit. Okay, that's not nice. <laughs> got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. 
He wasn't. Forbidden. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let some over the bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Penny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll him. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody's doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. Mm. And then, there'll be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. Oh, just shut up. It is. And we're tossing him out now. No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah, that's how you save us. Yeah, come on. Oh, oh God. Come on. Oh, well. You okay? Nice shot. Just great, thanks. Okay. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. That's pretty awesome. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peach Street. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Great. Damn, that'd be great. Well, it's got to get done. Plus, I'm quick, 
person I know make it. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For <laughs> now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. <laughs> you got it, boss. Already taking the lead. Um, yeah, guys. I think I'm going to end it off here. Um, it was a really fun episode. Well, some part of it. Uh, at the at the end, we really had a lot of action. And uh, yeah, leave a comment, subscribe, uh, like our Facebook page. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys for the next episode. Bye.